Oh, hello. Here's on me. It shouldn't be over here. Don't look over here. That's for the upcoming video. Today's video is about the worst things these luxury brands can do to us, their clients who spend our hard earned coins with them. Yes, let us discuss. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, it's your girl Kanisha. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back my loves. Welcome back. I was reading through this Reddit and I kid you not, I couldn't help but pause on this one because I was like, yes, yes girl. I completely agree with you. There's no way I should be spending $3,000 on my coin, let alone $9,000 with Louis Vuitton. It's not in mint perfect condition, yes. I completely concur. So I just wanted to think about what are some of the things that drive us absolutely bonkers? I'm talking blows our mind, right? Right, blows our mind when it comes to, girl, what kind of quality is this? They, they must be joking. Feel free to drop your comments drop your comments let's go through it let's go through it right now i have eight on the top of my head that i want to talk about and the number one we will discuss at the end so starting with number eight girl there is nothing i hate more than chipped hardware there's nothing i hate more when my hardware is chipping or it's wearing I'm like, so this is what they're talking about when they say back in the day, Chanel was made out of actual real gold plate, like real gold versus today, the bags you can see underneath the tarnishing and girl, you better be careful buying that costume jewelry because you don't want to be wearing that stuff around your neck and it's turning green. <laughs> no. So those are the signs. Those are signs of the times. Chipped hardware, wearing hardware, like, it's just like a no for me. It's just N-O, Louis Vuitton, Chanel. Hermes uses real platinum and they use real gold. They are not in this, not just yet, but we're keeping our eyes on them, eyes on the prize. Hermes, we got our eyes on you. Hmm. So that's number eight, the hardware. Why can't it be pristine for all this money? I think the hardware on the P9 is brass. I'm gonna actually take a look at that because I don't think it's gonna be changing and I don't think it's gonna be wearing. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem. Number seven, girl, let's talk about uneven stitching. If the machines are doing it, it should be perfect, right? because we no longer believe the stories and the headlines that say that people are doing this, right? If people are doing it in human error, then the quality control's gotta be done, right? Girl, am I missing something? Tell me, tell me. Hello, friends, luxury besties, am I missing something? Where are the checks and balances? I'm just saying, when I see stories about uneven stitching, on our canvas pieces like the TP15, the Toilet Tree Pals 15, or on a luxury bag, on Chanel. <laughs> yes, my eyes have to roll. And yes, I have to look with incredulity, like, say it ain't so. <laughs> what is happening? No. So uneven stitching, what do we think about that one? That's definitely up there, is it not? These are my, in the, the realm of top 10, I've come out with eight. So again, I'm like, what's another two, you guys? Like, you guys must, you guys are like me. You're picky. If you're in this, if you're in this community, we are securing the bags and the coins. Because on that note, if you would like a Portland leather goods bag, I am giving away a saddlebag and a tote bag. The saddlebag is in honey. The tote bag is in the color biscuit. And they are free. If you're interested, sign up at my website at the description down below. 
If you want to go ahead and boost yourself and have an early retirement because you guys are securing your money as well as your luxury bags, then you better be following, subscribe, and follow. Yes, girl, I decided I'm going to start promoting myself here. I got my own LLC and my own business. Your girl's just going to start promoting herself. Go to wildomilo.com. It's called Week in the Life of, Month in the Life of, a luxury thriver for a reason. Let's get back to it. All right, back to the video. Number six, girl, ugh, popped threads. When I tell you... I'm irritated because I recently just went into Louis Vuitton and yes, I did go in for repair. Why? Because my card wallet, my business card wallet, which I've only had a year and have loved so much because it's literally perfect, has the glazing worn off. I mean, it has pop stitches. It's got a lot of problems it needs repairing. And do you know I have to pay for it? Girl, do you know I have to pay for it? $195. It said Louis Vuitton, what? I might have to sell it. I just bought my Chanel business card wallet. I'm just like, I'm not sure. We're gonna have to see. This is what I'm talking about. I am not sure what what we're doing with Canvas anymore, Louis Vuitton. I, I mean, if I gotta pee paying for all these repairs and all my funds is funding your real estate purchases around the world, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I got time for that. So we're gonna be paying attention to how the leather wears because right now I'm not satisfied with the Canvas. Moving on to number five. I can't stand pilling on my clothes. You know what I'm talking about? Cashmere that you're wearing. Winter time is coming. Fall is all practically here. And I'm about to start pulling out my cashmere sweaters. And one thing I can say I can't stand is when those little balls of fuzz start pilling up and balling up everywhere. And then I got to start scraping them off and pulling them off. No, that's just like ridiculous on luxury quality outfits like ready to wear i don't want to see it i don't want to see it happening and you know there's a lot of cashmere in ready to wear and you know cashmere has different levels to it those prices they can be anywhere from 99 dollars to thousands of dollars three thousand dollars five thousand dollars and yes girl i do know okay so i'm just saying i had better not see any pilling on my five thousand dollar hermes cashmere overcoat as well as my j crew cashmere hoodies that you guys normally see me wear when the the when the winter comes you're gonna see i'm gonna show you there's no balling there's no pilling you know why because it's high quality cashmere and i pay money for these luxury brands and my low lower lesser expensive outfits are not pilling those clothes better wear well they better hold up that's what I'm saying. That's the worst thing. We're talking about the worst thing these brands that take our money can do to us, right? Okay. So we better not see any pilling on our clothes. You guys better report. Start reporting because we know what to stay away from. This is where we save our money, okay? And we put it into the right channels. Number four. Girl, I can't stand no feet on bags. And the reason why this is actually really starting to irk me more and more Louis Vuitton is because when I see Tory Burch, Rebecca Minkoff, and Michael Kors coach with feet on their bags for $300 bags, $500 bags, $100 bags or less, there is no excuse. There's literally no excuse. When the slouchy bag from Louis Vuitton is coming out and your girl wants to purchase it, is in the store, literally trying it on. And everything about the bag is perfection except for the naked bottom. The bottom is naked. There's no feet. And it costs over $2,000 Louis Vuitton. It costs $2,550 for the MM, $2,450 for the PM. Why are you coming short, falling short of not adding feet to this bag? I feel like there is literally no longer any excuse, okay? And I don't wanna have to parent you guys because you should start getting the message by now, but I'm gonna tell you with my money. I really like that bag, but I'm not buying it. I am not buying it. And I'm not sure what we're gonna do about these speedy bags because I really like the P9, but honestly, it's irking me having no feet on the bottom of my bag. Same thing with the mezzo and the piano, the newly released canvas bags, they're beautiful. They are old school, but modernize Louis Vuitton. <laughs> modernize. Like the Cité of old, I don't think it had feet of old. The modern version has feet and I love it. 
This new slouchy could have been the modern day version of the delightful and the graceful and the artsy just by adding some feet to it. I'm not sure what to say. I'm disappointed. Moving on. When the zippers don't work. When the zipper, girl, isn't smooth. Now, I don't usually encounter this with Louis Vuitton at all, I'm going to say. So we're not going to put this on them. I don't typically, in, in, I don't typically have that experience. However, I have heard, I have heard other people have had that experience with Louis Vuitton zippers as well as other brands. So my suggestion is to make sure that the zipper works because one thing we're not going to do is be replacing zippers. Again, the one I have to replace for my coin pouch is $195 Louis Vuitton. Like, what girl? Girl, I can only imagine what it would cost to replace the P9 Speedy zipper. Okay, $599, girl. No, we don't got time for that. So just make sure your zippers work. We want it smooth like butter. Okay, all right, moving on, number two. Ugh, I can't stand poor quality. What is poor quality? If you have not had the pleasure of watching my Neverfull BB unboxing, please go do. You will be in for a specific phenomenal treat of poor quality control, all right? That's all I can say is when you unbox what you believe is going to be something new and fresh out of the packaging for your enjoyment alone. And it comes and it's already attached like this girl <laughs> and it's hooked up and maybe it's got a hot stamp on it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it already comes set up like this and you're saying to yourself but i wanted to do all that myself and it's got the coin pouch attached to it and it's all just thrown back into the box and sent back to the Vuitton, and you unbox it and they say all of our pieces go through quality control we don't know what happened doesn't that put you off the brand just a little bit doesn't that just put you off I, let me tell you i haven't been back yet to buy the never full bb okay all right moving on the number one Worst thing I think we all hate if we see it on any of our luxury bags. Any of them. Oh! Off-centered stitching. I kid you not. Coming from a family of people who know how to sew, like litter, legit sew, dresses, clothes, make clothes, girl, please. When I tell you nothing drives me more crazy then off-centered seeming, I'm telling you, I am telling you, I'm not alone, okay? Thank God I am not alone. Came across a story on Reddit and that's the reason why I'm actually making this video. This is like the inspiration is I could not help but agree with this lady. Like, yes, girl, for real. How could you release that P9 Speedy Louis Vuitton with that off-centered stitching like that? It looks horrendous. Everything about her experience was perfect Louis Vuitton until she got to the bottom of the bag and she had to see what? Those L's and those V's was looking like Z's and T's? Girl, no, that's not gonna work for anybody. So I don't blame her for wondering like, is this normal? And let me tell you, not only was I the only one to say, no girl, that's not normal. You better send it back. Everybody else agreed. Now the problem is these bags are rare. What's the likelihood she'll be able to get another one? I don't know. But honestly, for all that money, oh, you leave a time. What were you thinking? What are you doing to our experience? That is not her fault. She shouldn't even be put in that position to make that decision, in my opinion. So what would you do? We're going to end it here. And if you love this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned to my next video, girl. Yes, we have a double Louis Vuitton unboxing and it's such a treat, literally.